This is task 1b part 4 where we're going to look at making the church details read only. Now you could have got all the marks for part b part 2 because there's no way that you can actually show that it's read only when you just show evidence of the form. So this is all about annotating and showing step by step how you've done this. Now at the moment we can change a church for camper as you can see and that's right we should be able to do that. But the actual details of the church itself, we don't want to change. So if somebody came along and accidentally changed that, that is going to change the spelling of that for everybody with real life church. And we don't want to do that. So we want this area here, all of this data, to be read only. So in design view, we select that data. We right hand click somewhere and select properties. We find the data tab just here, and we just say yes, it's going to be locked. Now, if we go back to data sheet view, and I try and do something, it won't let me. Okay. The fact that it's still enabled is okay, because that means that we can highlight it, copy it, and paste it. All enabled does is stop you from being able to highlight it in the same way that you can't highlight uh, a text label. Now, you may also want to make some cosmetic changes. Um, for example, you might want to get rid of a white background so that it looks like a label and so it's clear that it can't be edited. Well, that's quite straightforward. If we go to Format, okay, and we want to find the background color, okay, and we can remove that background color. Right, or we can make it the same, rather than anything else, make it the same as the actual background. Uh, you'll still see that there's a border around these, so we can get rid of the border as well by changing the border style to be transparent. Now if we go back to data sheet view, you go, it's quite clear that that's data that can't be edited, although we can still select it. And we can still change it up here, like that, but we always put the data back to what it started as. So that's task 1b part 4 completed. Remember it's all about showing the evidence of step by step stages that you went through. You don't need to show how you changed the background colours. Uh, it's just about how you locked those fields. So it's just about showing how you selected them, show that they were all selected and then show that you selected the option to lock them. Make sure that you don't select the drop down box when you lock them because that mustn't be locked.